Hey, what's up? We're back with more Futurama. This is season 12, episode 7. Um, I, I'm not going to waste too much time at the start of this video. We're going to get right into it pretty early. It's not like there's a crazy amount to discuss in this show. Make sure to support the video. I'm a small channel, so any of your support can help me a lot. I have a Patreon account if you want the full-length reactions. And I've got a Gen Watches One Piece channel. If you like One Piece, go check that out. But let's jump into season 12, episode 7 of Futurama. Five million years ago at 7 a.m. Alright, <laughs> what is this? It's a coffee cup. <laughs> is this an ad in the universe? No way that's people's first reaction to coffee. <laughs> Classic. Going hard on the uh, 2001 reference. Before the intro, even. Fun. Cool. Oh. <laughs> it's a hologram of you. I'll just say it. Your father's on his deathbed in Jamaica. Oh my god. <laughs> Once more from the top. <laughs> I didn't even know my father was alive. But not <laughs> so terrible man. I haven't seen him since I was four. Maybe he's not a terrible man anymore then. There's green snakes is in there. Oh, there's green snakes in lots of things. <laughs> <I'll... laughs> sure, I know your daddy. He run a grown operation up in the. Oh, I like the top. I <laughs> Zombie crossing, nice. <laughs> He's growing coffee. Best oh yeah, we know. saw that intro with the What'd coffee. You think he was growing. <laughs> the crops are all burnt. Oh my god. Like not recently, huh. I'd say much better than his own children. <laughs> I got to put my hearing aids in. <laughs> now, listen to me, you low down licky licky hobbit And okay, you low down licky licky. <laughs> he keeps going here. with the insult. I need to see something. Are you ready? Can I rip you a new one yet? <laughs> this. Yeah, my lips. Mm. Then I need my regular glasses. <laughs> What kind of man leaves his family to fend for themselves? I'll tell you what kind. Oh. Is he gonna die here? Before you can even finish your speech to him. Oh my god. <laughs> what a cut. It's another funeral this season. That's all I got. When I hear steel drums. <laughs> It looks like they're. Thanks for your help. <laughs> it looks like they're trying to be bury a body secretly. To me. They feel the same way. You've been a father to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. That was. I mean, it's. It went from funny to cool. But I do like that. <laughs> that initial joke. Should we go in? No, let's go in. Till I'm older. Go in. Oh, right, it's a hatch. I thought it was a safe. They said it was a hatch. It must have come from space. <laughs> coffee? A ship fueled by coffee? Oh. Amazing. More amazing That's insane. You licked the Stop calling everything weird. <laughs> get out. I'll trust the hands later. I love Farnsworth. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a shovel. That's a good joke. Not that fresh. According to my pocket carbon data, five niece of the puzzle. Oh Jesus! It's coffee. Coffee? Yes. <laughs> oh my God. The coffee rainbow. Brown. <laughs> it's a double. What the no, fuck is going on? Did, they come back Did you go back in time? We, a vision of what went down five million mm. years ago. We weren't stealing it. We brought it to your planet as a great gift. Damn, they can talk to Sorry. him. We've been dead millions of years and can't hear you. <laughs> planet Thermos. A world of thermos. <laughs> and don't talk to us before then. <laughs> it flows to the sea. Source. Of As a non-coffee drinker, coffee this doesn't sound good. 
Oh, so that legitimately happened. There was a giant coffee mug. The final stage. And then what happens to us? Oh, that's the tragedy. <laughs> that does make sense. You guys don't have cup holders in a coffee ship? You'd think that would have been the first thing you made. Deprived of our final gift. People would think we're crazy. Crazier. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's that, that crazy compared to a lot of the stuff that's happened in this series. <laughs> oh, wait, you liked iced coffee. <laughs> you really can't get back at him, huh? We're alive. Oh, you flatter me. <laughs> still down now. It's yeah, I was thinking, like, it's some very valuable oh, shit in there. It take you an hour to make instant. <laughs> you really... This is more important Maybe you should ask your family if they want to stay. Soon, We're a coffee company now. <laughs> Don't, is there something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they haven't done that in a while. Planet Espresso. That is great. That's honestly a genius name. And you can have Sabrina Carpenter do the jingle for your, uh, for your company. That would be awesome. He's... What? What is... What, what is that leading to? <laughs> Excuse me. Little service, please. Sorry, Mr. McLaughlin. Kyle Here's McLaughlin. I don't know if I know Kyle McLaughlin. That's McLaughlin. A fine bath of Whoa, fellas up, coffee jerk. Man, you just bring your own um, hello, container? Today I'm Are you sure? Because you look like a dollop whipper. <laughs> look at me, Harvest. Oh, yeah. Of ten fiddler crabs. You're great for this job, Zoidberg. <laughs> but this is barely room temperature. <laughs> Ow! It's <laughs> boiling. I don't. I work 24 hours a day. You somehow. need to... I was about to say, you need to drink some of the coffee I'm yourself, but you do. Sports, I did this. Oh! That's it! And strike with all the other employees. Understandable. You're the only employee. Why? Us are management. <laughs> I'm equipment. Who will tell you what to do? Hey, hey! Woo -woo. Bender is great. You're not a manager, Bender. Right. You're equipment. You said so yourself. Worst working conditions. Return. It's about the future of mankind. That was more than enough detail to call you crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Our one cafe can't keep up with the demand. We'll either have you, to open a yeah. second location, poisoning our customers. <laughs> oh no, learn how to make any new drink. <laughs> That's very good. Cream syrup alone is four hundred dollars a barrel. Well, are you guys not making much of a profit with silent, with the lines around the corner? You're thinking you need to mark up your fucking prices. I do miss oh my you. god, that's the picture you have, <laughs> yeah! Let me jack up the profit trash beans. Oh, that's awful. Get out and take your dirty, sexy money. She did a good job at that, um, that pained groan. Quit blocking my beans, son. Oh, he grew. Yeah, the shrubs. I really was a bad father. Right, that's what they were setting up before. I forgot. I completely forgot that it was growing. I set fire to it myself. Oh, it was too, it was it too dangerous? I drank the space coffee. I saw the space vision. I didn't have a TV. <laughs> Spill the coffee. I mean, get a cup holder. That's what I was saying. <laughs> I became obsessed with the farm. I was working oh, for that's why? humanity, and I missed it. I mean... Oh, Dad. All this time, I've been holding on to my hatred. Then Hermes, sell the company. <laughs> you don't have to close it down. Driven. All I want to say to you is... <laughs> 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 heard this. <laughs> I'll make you some coffee. Oh, God, no. Yeah, no thanks. For the rest of my entire morning. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, back to Planet Express. Oh shit! Sorry, I ain't had my coffees today. Oh my god! Sold off the whole coffee estate tomorrow. Okay, he did sell it. Honestly, he probably got a, a lot of money from that, right? 
couldn't be more partially wrong. <laughs> oh, for a butt truck of ass. <laughs> we sorted. But your daddy, or oh, he would be proud. Did you at least get a good sure buck off of it? My... Harvest, oh my harvest, gosh. Harvest, 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 Makes sense. Break. People obsessed with coffee. Getting the coffee right from the source. And now the aliens are here. Uh, almost. Excellent. <laughs> The fuck is going on? Subjugation. What? What? Oh, okay. Sounds good. Made <laughs> from the shackles of sleep. They shall serve us non -stop. Okay, so they won't have to sleep How many anymore. Hours are there on ever sleeping for all eternity. Okay. So essentially enslaving humanity, but first making that they can't sleep, and it's right. <laughs> it's basically Starbucks. Okay, <laughs> that was a good episode. I think this season has had a lot of like, um, a lot of episodes where I haven't cared that much about the concept and I'm not, I, I think I'm just not generally super interested in what they're setting up. But by the end, I found that I liked the way they ended it. Like I think it's, it was, it's generally nicely wrapped up um, in an interesting way. And it has a surprising amount, uh, like surprisingly more jokes that hit with me than I expect. Which, so I, I think this season's done a pretty decent job. Like, honestly, for a, it's basically just like if th this show doesn't have as many concepts that I'm looking forward to. I think like last season, um, from memory, season 11, had a few more concepts that I was interested in, but fewer... Um, but like you know it, maybe maybe the actual jokes were a little bit lesser like for example i think last season you had like the simulation thing you had the um binge watching episode which i genuinely did like th like that concept you know um you had the uh the what was it called um uh the the amy and kiff like having kids stuff like and I, I I really did like those concepts I can't remember many of the other ones off the top of my head but um but there were like definitely some concepts that I I actually really enjoyed um in this season I don't know if any of the concepts that they've had have been ones that I've been like oh this is a great concept that I can't wait to see how they use it but each maybe not each one I feel like but most of them I have by the end gone oh I really liked the way they ended that you know like the the um bullfighting one with the bugs right i really liked the sort of bugs at the end um and the way that their brains work and stuff um the previous episode i liked the the sort of world ending clothing thing that they were sending the clothes to their own planet that was kind of cool and this one i liked the idea of like the the they're creating coffee that makes it so that you um rely on sleep less and less until you ne never have to sleep again but it's an alien race doing it essentially so that they can enslave our planet i i do actually like that concept quite a bit um and so yeah like i think they've been doing a good job at ending these episodes and i think the jokes have been um hitting for me a little bit more as well um so like if we had like a combination of like last season and this season it would be something I really liked, which is like concepts I'm super interested in done very well, you know, um, that would be, that would be nice. I, um, I think the joke of like, I think Farnsworth is actually becoming my favorite character, I think. And that when I was a kid, I don't know if I like really cared about Farnsworth, um, in general. And I, I, I don't think I found him that funny or whatever, but the older I've gotten, the more I've enjoyed Farnsworth's character. And in these, these new seasons, I feel like it's, it's a combination of like, I think the jokes are, you know, his jokes are always going to be, um, good to write. And I love his vocal delivery. And like that, that, um, the voice acting of him is like the most flawless to me. Um, like it is, it is, uh, transferred extremely well to today. Um, you know, I, and I mean, I think it helps that it's the point of Farnsworth is, is he sounds really old. 
Um, and so it's probably really easy for, um, it's, it's Billy West that does Farnsworth, right? It's probably really easy for him to do that as opposed to Fry, who's supposed to sound like a, you know, a young guy in his twenties or whatever. Um, which when, you know, many, many years later, the actor has gotten so much older, it's probably harder to, to get that voice out of him. But with, um, Farnsworth, it's like you get older, you actually age more into the role of Farnsworth. So... That does help. But the joke in this episode of he's got that little digger and you just like rotate it and it the the few seconds of it just like doing the little tip of the dirt um was very, very funny to me. Like the idea that he could have been doing that for, <laughs> for like it, it was a much slower version of digging was very funny to me. Um but then it was actually useful. But then they did the joke again, basically, where he's like, I always carry around my translator with me, and he pulls it out, and it's just the shovel again. But the shovel shoots out a translator. It's just, it, that's a that's a very funny joke to me. I, and, I mean, they did it uh, one, one or two more times. Um, but that was, like, the peak of it for me. That was so good. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, I mean, there was a lot of jokes in this episode that I really liked. The one where Hermes has the photo in the background of, of his family, but it's, like, his family crying. And he's like, why did I frame that picture? Um, yeah, that's really, really solid stuff. Um, yeah, I, overall, I liked this episode. Again, it's a, it's a surprising, I, I liked this episode a surprising amount. So I'm, um, I'm glad I got to see it. Um, I'm... I'm I'm glad I'm watching the season. I think this is episode seven. I think there was eight episodes or whatever. So this next week might be the last episode. Um, make sure to stick around for that. Uh, make sure to support the video if you can, liking, commenting, subscribing. Go to my Patreon account for the full length reactions and a lot of extra content. And go to my Gent Watches One Piece channel if you like One Piece. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.